hello guys yes shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you how to make a super delicious creamy curry of potatoes and fenugreek leaves it's an easy recipe and super delicious to eat with especially boiled rice so guys let's see the recipe for this recipe i have taken one bundle of methi that means fenugreek leaves after washing properly i chopped them roughly as you can see and here i have taken two potatoes medium sized potatoes and cut them into pieces after that i washed them properly and here i have taken two medium sized tomatoes and made a smooth puree of them you may take finely chopped tomatoes instead there is no problem and here i have taken about one and a half tablespoons of crushed ginger garlic you may take the paste there is no problem and here two medium sized onions finely chopped and uh, i have taken some malai malai means milk cream this is the cow milk cream i have taken about two spoons two big spoons of cow milk cream if you have any problem with milk cream you may take curd instead or you may skip it fully there is no problem so here are the things we need to arrange and the rest of the things are available in our kitchen i am showing you one by one so guys let's go for the main process at first we need to add some cooking oil in the pan and now we need to fry the potatoes so i turn the heat on medium and now i'm adding the potatoes in the pan you may add some salt and turmeric powder with the potatoes but i'm not adding them i'm just plainly uh, frying the potatoes until they are cooked 50% and some red spots on them and they are ready they are cooked about 50% and some red spots on them I'm taking them out into a plate and in the same pan I'm going to add some more cooking oil for gravy processing 2 spoons of refined oil after the oil is heated well I'm going to add some cumin seeds and some mustard seeds so half teaspoon of cumin seeds and half teaspoon of mustard seeds 2 bay leaves and 3 to 4 red chilies and a pinch of asafoetida After everything is fried well, after the color is brown, we need to add the onions. So now I am adding the onions. And we need to fry the onions until a nice brown color, light brown color. And after the color is light brown, I am adding the crushed ginger garlic. We need to stir a little until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone and after that we need to add the tomatoes you may add chopped or blended tomatoes there is no problem i am adding the puree and after adding tomatoes uh, we need to add some spices and salt so i am stirring a little and after that i am going to add some spices at first i am adding 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of coriander powder red chili powder according to taste and here i am taking one teaspoon of kanda lasun masala it's actually a maharashtrian spices mixture and it's available only in maharashtra so if you don't have it then skip it there's no problem in that case increase the quantity of garam masala so i'm adding it and now i'm going to add a little quantity of garam masala now and i'm going to add some more garam masala at the end of this recipe so now i'm adding very little quantity of it Along with all of the spices, we need to add some salt as well, but actually I forgot to add salt. So I am telling you add salt now and I am going to add salt later. Now I am covering the pan for some time until the water is dried up. And after about 5 minutes, this is the texture, the water is dried up roughly. So now I am going to add the milk cream in the spices. If you are taking curd, you may skip the milk cream and add your curd right now. Now I am adding the milk cream into the spices. You may use fresh cream or heavy cream from the market instead. But the fresh milk cream will give you the best result. So now we need to stir very nicely and after that we need to cover the pan for some time until the rest of the water is dried up nicely and some ghee is released from the malai that means milk cream. So let's cover the pan. After about 3 to 4 minutes, this is the texture, some ghee is released from the spices. So now it's time to add the potatoes. So I am adding the potatoes in the spices. 
I cooked the potatoes about 50% while frying. So I don't need so much time to cook the rest of the 50%. So I'm adding the fenugreek leaves now. If you didn't cook the potatoes while frying, then add some water after adding the potatoes and cook them until they are cooked 50% and after that you may add the fenugreek leaves. Now after mixing everything nicely, I am going to add some water. Add the water quantity according to your wish, how thick or how thin you want your gravy to be. So I am also adding water according to my choice. I am adding just little by little. I don't want to add so much water at a time. I am adding some water and checking it and adding some more water if needed. Now I am covering the pan and after that I remembered that I forgot to add salt. So I am adding salt according to taste now. So guys please pardon me for this. So after stirring nicely I am going to cover the pan again and cook the curry until the potatoes are cooked very nicely. After about 8 minutes total. My curry is ready. The potatoes are cooked 100% and now I am removing the bay leaves because I was facing problem to stir the curry and the flavor is already in the curry now. So we may remove them there is no problem. At the end of this recipe I am adding about half teaspoon of garam masala and half teaspoon of sugar. This will increase the flavor and taste of the curry. I am mixing very nicely and after that our curry is ready. We need to turn the heat off and serve the curry hot. So guys you have seen that the recipe is super easy and it's very delicious with especially boiled rice. You may enjoy it with roti and chapati as well. It's also very delicious with them. So guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button guys if you really like the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.